Welcome back everyone. This is part 9 of Mummy Berserker. I'm Ultraviolet4 and this is Depths 3 where progress has been pretty good. We're going to continue on with Depths but first we've got a little bit of a side quest. I don't know if you remember but once upon a time we met a ghost vault and that ghost was kind of dangerous so I just skipped it but at this point we may as well grab some free experience. So uh, let's see if it turns up here. It's on Orc 2. Baron Von Scrubs Ghost. Alright, so we're going to go do that before we continue on with Depths. <laughs> His shift is unkillable. <laughs> Never mind. Excellent. So before we before we fight Baron von Scrub, we'll we'll examine the ghost first. It's a plain deep dwarf fighter. Hits a 41 damage, which isn't so threatening now that we have 194 HP. Um, yeah, but because we're about to get some experience from this ghost, let's figure out our skills. We finally made crossbows to 10, which is min delay for our hand crossbow. So. We can train some other stuff here. I think what I'd like to do is train more evocations. We have a bunch of blocks of base and some extra ones we can purchase. As well as some good ones including paralysis, we've got a little bit of enslavement left and some wand of clouds. Uh, I think training evocations makes sense here. I'm going to set a skill target for 10 I think maybe. Uh, that might be enough, but at that point it's going to make our Hex Wands be extremely powerful. Uh, it's also going to make our Box of Beasts be very strong too. They're crazy, crazy strong when you have evocations. Hey, we might even be able to use Sacks of Spiders <laughs> properly. And I think there are more of those we can buy too. No, just the two that we've already got. Alright, so let's fight Baron Von Scrub. Uh, the Demon Whip of Freezing potentially won't do much to him. Uh, as a Deep Dwarf fighter, you can see he had tons of AC. So I think it makes sense to go with the Evening Star of Flaming. And also, well, we'll fight him first and then I'll address that. <laughs> All right, good. Uh, who was it? Mozaro89 pointed out to me that this seems like a, a deep dwarf themed um, ghost fort because, well, we fought a deep dwarf, but then there's a manual of earth magic, some stones, a large rock, so it seems quite earth themed, which I don't know if that's just a coincidence, but it's pretty cool all the same. So nicely spotted. Let's go do depths again. <laughs> We've got our free XP. I can't tell, our evocations didn't go up, so it probably wasn't much, but I don't know. The completionist in me wants to do these anyway. Let's continue on with depths. We've been going pretty fine here. Compared to how insane the last game was, playing a, uh, a Spriggan Conjurer of Quaz <laughs> with trap exclusions, uh, this game seems much, much, much more straightforward. Let's paralyze the spark wasp. Let's see. We don't we don't have our RLEC on at the moment. Um and I'm still totally on the fence whether I want to go to the amulet of air or not. It's possible. Let's check the vampire knight. Six percent paralyzed chance is probably okay. Uh we should definitely be switching to anti-magic though. Uh it's gonna stop him from using his spells or Attempt to. He drank a potion. He had a heal wounds. That's cheating. I'd be mad if we, if he just stole that heal wounds from us, but we can't quaff, so it's not a huge deal. He's a Spriggan defender. Uh, a demon with a draining. This is interesting. Uh, probably against the Spriggan, I actually want to go back to our own demon whip. They're not. They're not heavily AC monsters. They're actually high evasion. Uh, so against those ones where your attacks are likely to miss, 
I'd much rather use, well, one, the more accurate weapon in a demon whip, but two, the faster one, so we can swing more often. Because if it's just a matter of connecting with an attack, I'd like to get as many as possible. Let's check this demon whip draining. It's plus two. Um, I think draining on a demon whip is quite a good brand, but the fact that it's only two with its enchantment, and if we find more enchant scrolls, I want to put them on the evening star, so at this point, we're not going to switch. This might mean enchantress, we're seeing all these spriggans around. Um, how do we deal with this? Probably by penetration, so we can kill the spark wasp without having to get electrocuted. Right. Similar play again. Okay, he had a, a flail of venom. Not too exciting. Look at this. Oh no, we got outplayed. Uh, we need to kill that one above us. They switched. They're too clever. Alright, there we go. I moved down to make it just more easily to fire down the hallway with tab. But then we got outplayed by the very ugly things because one blocked us in. A glowing hunting sling. Thanks, Trog. You're the best, Trog. We got a, a transporter vault here. Pro tip reminder you will never ever die inside a transporter vault if you never ever go into them. <laughs> that is definitely a tip the devs don't want you to know. Uh, zero. Oh, this one doesn't have any hexes, but he has crystal spear, so I need to respect this ogre mage. Um, probably I should walk down here to this hallway to fight this stuff. 7% chance confused with all these ogres around is too high, so we're putting Trog's hand on. And... Uh, I probably should just go back upstairs, because... Dragons can trample you, in which case you get pushed off the stairs. So rather than risk that, we got teleport trapped, so we're pretty much in the middle of the unknown, which is not a good place to be trapped. So we'll just go back up, we'll reset. We'll get in this really long hallway where we can penetrate, <laughs> penetrate through all these monsters. <laughs> I don't know, I'll probably never get over thinking that's funny. <laughs> Real mature ultra. All right, um, and we've got another what appears to be a vault. We got teleport trapped again. All right, getting real trapped here. To lich, we had a twelve percent chance to hex us. So again, we're in a trog's hand. Um, we're kind of in the unknown. How do we fight these guys? Uh, Lamp of Fire is what I've been using, but in the open here, I think we're unlikely to hit him. Ah, let's give it a go. Stranger things have happened. I can make him step in it. No, I can't. He's too clever. All right. Uh, now we're going to throwing net. The Lich. Now we're going to throwing net the Lich. Now we're going to throwing... Now we're going to throwing net the lich, and we'll just hit him with. Oh, I should have gone to the anti magic. There we go. All right, throwing nets are broken again. It's it's what happens. See, the devs watch these things, and when I tell you the secrets that they don't want you to know, so I tell you, don't ever go into a transporter vault, and the dev that's watching goes right. Better mess with his game. We can't let these sorts of things out. So then they just hot patch nets for a bit. They're very sneaky, the devs. Bit of extra gold. Okay. So this one, I mean, it's an artifact amulet that we could go for, but again, the pro tip, just don't go in there, you'll never die. 
Um, well, never voluntarily go in there. Sometimes you don't have a choice. You can get teleport trapped into them. So the two teleport traps that we hit could have ended up in here, could have been real nasty. You can get shafted in as well, but uh, just don't be unlucky. <laughs> That's my advice. Don't go in, don't go in of your own choice and don't be unlucky. Simple rules. Whoa. All right. This is a triple <laughs> great orb of eyes. A double juggernaut witch pack right here. Uh, this this is definitely some sort of nasty vault going on. I'm seeing stone walls. Uh, this is crazy. Crazy. Um, so we want to get back upstairs. Um, I think we need to put a trog's hand on before anything else because if we get paralyzed or confused, which is really the same thing for a mummy, uh, while there are juggernauts around, we are 100% dead. And we're just going to walk back upstairs, take the juggernaut with us. Um, he can hit for 40 damage and for 80, so he can do 120 max damage on a swing. It's physical damage, so we get some guaranteed damage reduction, uh, but still. Um, I think we could probably fight him. Um, how about we make one bro in arms? We got a deep troll, so that should do it. Two things are really strong against juggernauts, allies, and shields. Because they, they swing really slowly. Uh, so one, if you have lots of allies around, they, they wind up their really big punch. They hit one of your, say, butterflies, and then they have to wait another four turns to punch again. <laughs> Similar thing with the shield. You block it, and then they sit there sad for ages. Confused chance is 9%, which is too high. Too damn high. We're going to Trog's hand again. All these centaurs are going to die to our reflection. Um, we are also just dying to random stuff. <laughs> I wasn't actually looking at the log, but if I were to guess, I'd guess it was probably the Sphinx. Um, they have smite, so it doesn't matter how good your AC or your shield is. Can't do anything against Smite. Vanish chance, seven percent chance. Oh yeah, right. We only have two pips of MR. Whatever. <laughs> if we got banished at this point, it actually wouldn't matter too much. Um, it wouldn't matter if we got paralyzed though. Ten percent. Wait. Five eh, percent. That's probably okay. Not with a juggernaut, change of plans, <laughs> throw in Trog's hand, get a bro in arms. It's a deep, it's an iron troll even. Alright, so this guy is just going to go super angry. We take one big shot from the juggernaut, that's okay. And while we've got our super angry troll, let's run up towards where that vault was. Because this is a great time. Quick check, yep. The floor above was the transporter vault, so we are Xing out this hatch up. Um, that's a storm dragon. We're gonna want Arlek for that. So let's throw on the amulet of air. So we have Arlek. Our troll slowed, he's no longer angry. Um, which is not so good for us. Yeah, okay, he timed out. I think the best play here is actually to just loop around this and go back up. The reason why I don't want to take this hatch is because we could end up inside the transporter vault, which is not a good time. Oh man, this is nasty. Alright, let's go back up and hope we don't get trampled. If we get trampled, we're in trouble. Not trampled. Um, and we need to take some drastic measures here, I think. Tengu Reavers, especially if they have corrosive bolt, can put out a lot of damage very, very quickly. We have scrolls of blinking, so we could we could blink down this hallway. So I think what I'll do is I'll make another bro in arms. Uh, this was kind of perfect, actually. The trample that we just took there. 
Um, because it, it means that the trolls up here just having a 1v1 with the Tengu Reaver, which is great. And in fact, I'm going to throwing net the Tengu. Do we miss? It missed. Actually, these guys have good evasion, don't they? Yeah, I'm probably unlikely to hit one with a throwing net, so never mind. Um, everything has good MR. Tengu Reaver has worse MR than I would have expected, actually. 32% chance to paralyze it, but um, I think we can just fight. I'm just doing this really slowly in case we do take a corrosive bolt and a lightning bolt in the one turn and I need to blink away. I'm also aiming my attacks at the Tengu Reaver because that's the most important one to kill. Alright, we're good. Okay, let's X that stare out. I don't really want to go back there. This fort seems crazy. Look at all the stuff we've seen. Um, and this is especially scary. Having a Phantasmal Warrior who can halve your MR at the same time as a Lich who can hex you is really, really scary. I mean, you always need to respect that when it's a Vampire Knight. When it's a Lich, it's even worse. Alright, Yaktor Captain, I'm going to lead you back towards the stairs. I ain't too afraid though. We've got a lot of shield and reflection. Alright, here, here's the combo. We just spoke about it. Phantasmal Warrior, Vampire Knight. So we're immediately going to put on Trog's Hand. And... What else can we do here? I'm going to make a box of beasts. Um... Because I'm kind of thinking that the Lich might be around and that other stuff. So, let's we'll get a friend. I'm taking this slowly in case our MR gets halved, in which case we might have to do stuff. <laughs> Alright, Box of Beasts. Only a juvenile one, but still very potent. I'm not too afraid of dragons. I've got half a mind to sort of stay away from here actually. Whenever you have really nasty vaults like that, um, in depths, there's a decent chance that you're going to be meeting shrikes. Five percent paralyze against the storm dragon uh, we still got our Aralek on it's probably okay I'm also I'm using the storm dragon to block the great orb of eyes from us okay that worked that's a titan uh, again we have Aralek on but I want to start walking up oh here's a really angry Spriggan group um, I kind of want to pull one up with us, but this seems too scary with a Titan. Alright, so this is Depths 4 is uh, a bit crazy. Uh, with just the Spriggans, it's okay. It's only really the Titan that was worrying me. Even though these Spriggan Berserkers hit really hard. Uh, we have a lot of AC and a shield, so I'm not worried about their physical damage. It's more those guys plus the Titan is what I was worried about. Lich, we go on uh, Trog's Hand. And again, I'm heading back towards the stairs. Is our Lamp of Fire ready? It already is. It's pretty good. Turns out, <laughs> turns out that this item is actually really great. And look how much bigger it's getting with that evocation skill. Who knew? Evocables are actually strong. Who knew? Alright, the salamander's immune to fire, he doesn't care, but yeah. Random Hellwing is interesting. There's a lot of storm dragons too. I don't know what's going on on this floor. Lots of liches, lots of really scary enemies, and then a bunch of storm dragons. Eden's fine. He 
Here's our Titan. Okay, so we're going to try to remember our Blogon um, and him with Curare. I think this is quite likely to miss because uh, we don't really have that much throwing, only 4.8, and I'm still wearing the Amulet of the Air. So we've got inaccuracy at the moment. We missed. All right, we've got him finally. Okay, so now let's switch to our hand crossbow. I mean, so both these shots have hit, or oh, three have hit, four have hit. So you can see here, even though we haven't trained extra crossbow skills above 10, uh, we're still pretty accurate with it, even with the ammo of the air. So I don't know. You don't even, you don't even really need to train above it for your accuracy not to matter too much. Uh, another protection from firing. We probably don't need another one. I'm going to turn those off in auto pickup. It's backslash to do that. Black tiles. This might be a treasure trove. Um, here's our lich though. Yeah, this is lich number four, three or four on this floor so far. Our lampifier is definitely not back this time. Um, let's take, well I already took Amulet of the Air off, that's fine. Let me get off this wall though, just in case he's got lightning bolt. I don't want to get double zapped. Crystal Spear. Alright. Um, let's net him. Let's net him again. Alright, there we go. Nice! We reflected the Crystal Spear back at him. That's always, always a fun time. Reflecting Crystal Spears. <laughs> um, I'm trying to see if this is a treasure trove. Yes, it is. It's like a labyrinth one. We have to do the maze to get in here. It wants... It wants us to give up all our piety to enter. I'm gonna say no. <laughs> um, oh. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, I think we really need it for depths. Um, so what are we getting from Trog right now? Probably the most important thing is access to Brothers in Arms. I've been using Trog's hand to get MR, but I could put on this protection from Magic Ring and we'd probably be mostly fine I don't know I think as a general rule if you find a treasure trove this late that wants all your piety it's almost certainly never correct to do it it's better in the early game well is it? I'm gonna say it's often better in the early game where you maybe didn't have much piety anyway so it's not a big deal oh I'm so tempted to do that What what might we do? Maybe, maybe we could go to Crypt to get our piety back. Um, Crypt has a lot of magic users, so as we're killing all the nerds there, Trog's going to be pretty happy about it. So we'll get piety back pretty quickly. And I feel like we'll have less need for Brothers in Arms in Crypt than we would in Depths. I'm trying to talk myself into it because, I don't know, the curiosity is getting the better of me. Even though I don't think that this is technically optimal to do, I think as a if you wanted to increase your win rate, you wouldn't go into this trove doing this. But I don't know, I want to know. <laughs> I just want to know, okay? Um, I think I'm going to do it. Okay, well, let's make some space. Let's drop all that stuff. We've got five. And then I'm going to go in here. We're going to pick up our stuff again. And then we're going to go to Crypt and get our piety back. I hope this is good. Oh, this is cool. So we've got the Macabre Finger finger Necklace, which is a really flavorful and fun item. Uh, it lets you... 
how about we actually look at it? It's an ugly dangling finger on a string. <laughs> uh, basically, it's a necklace that lets you put a ring on it. So you can wear three rings at once, which is, I think, a really, really funny item. All right, we're going to ID all this stuff. Whoa, that's a Slay plus five, Strength plus four, RC plus ring. Okay, totally worth. Who wants Trog Piety? All right, so we've got an Enchant Armor Scroll too. None of this stuff is worth enchanting. I'm just going to hold it. I don't know that we have enough identify scrolls for this. How many do we have? None. Okay. Uh, backslash minus shows us the types of amulets we don't know. One of which is an amulet of faith. So this just might be one way to get our troll piety back really quickly. But no. I'm going to drop that. I'm going to say we don't want faith or regen. Uh, these copper rings, these plain rings we can try. Plus one slaying, not too exciting. Uh, and I guess we need to just... Ring of fire, not too exciting. We just need a wear ID, all these other amulets. Alright, let's go. Um, where are we? Ancient ruby amulet. Regen MP... RC plus, not so good. Oh boy, okay. Well, actually no, trying on a faith amulet right now actually doesn't matter because it doesn't hurt us at all to take it, take it off. Losing our truck piety when we literally gave up all of it is a whatever. Um, so let's try this unknown amulet. If it's faith, I don't care. It's just, it's a regen amulet. Okay. Wait, what did I do? So I, I dropped my cloak. Apparently. Okay, odd. Let's keep going. Sparkling. Another faith one. <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad that <laughs> we're not getting punished for this. Uh, flickering turquoise ring. RF plus RC plus C and Viz. That's strictly better than the RF C and Viz ring that we're carrying around already. Um, because the stealth is irrelevant. Yeah, yeah. Okay, nice. The Ring of Benevolence. And then we've got a couple more. Twitching Golden Ring. I uh, don't really care about that one. Warped tw Turquoise Ring. RF plus plus, RC plus, Iron plus, Strength plus four, Int minus three. This is a really nice ring. Um, that's probably, I think that's better to walk around with than, um, so that's the Ring of the Magpie. I think that's better than the Ring of Benevolence. Uh, it gives us two pips of RF. The Strength plus four is kind of like extra sling. And then our inner is at five, which is kind of low, but that's maybe okay. We'll just have to be careful. Alright, but we'll keep carrying the Ring of Benevolence as a C Invis Ring. Alright, uh, the Amulet of Regen we can drop. I'm going to hit Control X because I feel like we did... Just checking I didn't drop anything useful in here. Okay. Um, so what, is, what do we want to do? Uh, do I want a plus 4 Reflection Amulet? Or do I want to have plus 5 Slaying? So I think... it. Hmm. Well, no. Okay. 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 We need to have the protection from magic ring on. Uh, because we don't have Trog's hand anymore. So I want to have three pips of MR. So we don't get hexed by stuff and randomly die. Okay. That's one. Now, our choice here is do I want to have the amulet of reflection or do I want to have the macabre finger necklace and plus five sling with another strength plus four and RC plus. I think I want that one. <laughs> um, TBH screw plus four reflection. Well, I'll bring it out. Let's let's leave. So this is a pretty good trove. Uh, we didn't get super punished for this doing this nonsense. I actually think we got probably rewarded. <laughs> the grade grade play pays off for once. 
Um, all right, so we can drop the ammo of reflection. I think I'd rather have plus five slaying. That's just, that's nutty, especially with something like fast weapons, like hand crossbows. Um, I don't know that they're actually fast, I just said that. Uh, the, the weapons min delay is 1.0, so that was a total lie, it's not fast at all. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> well, plus five slaying with a demon whip, how about that? That's that's more true. Let's put on the macabre finger necklace. Uh, once we've got that on, we can wear another ring. So we'll go with the plus five sling. All right, let's have a look. Yeah, normally you get some free RN out of that, but as a mummy, we don't care. So we've got protection from magic, a bunch of RF, max RC, three pips of MR, and a bunch of sling. So I feel pretty good about this. Let's pick up our stuff, the bullets, curare. I'm not going to bother with the poison needles or probably even the needles of confusion. They're not very strong, either of those, without throwing. Um, I mean, poison needles are fine, but the point in the game where we're going to poison stuff and kite it, yeah, doesn't really exist anymore. I'd rather just use QRA if it was important. All right, so now that we have no trog piety and we can't do any bros in arms or anything like that, I think we go to crypt. <laughs> yeah, and I mean you don't normally do crypt on three rune characters, but for one we're a mummy So we have infinite RN a lot of crypt becomes less scary because of that and two I think it's probably a decent way to get our piety back here um, Certainly I feel like in some ways this would be less dangerous for a mummy than depths would without piety so say, like these Eidolons have bolts of draining. Uh, we don't care at all with infinite RN. Oh, I was about to throw Trog's hand on, but we can't. So, oh wait, we don't even care about Agony. Never mind. I was going to say, if the Phantasmal Warrior halves our MR, the Death Knight can hit us with Agony and half our HP. But immune to torment. Not even mad. I don't even know. Okay, Injury Mirror does reflect. I was testing that out. I didn't know if that was um, like negative energy based. Turns out no. Evocations goes to eight. It's going up pretty fast. Let's get back in the hallway here. We got a bunch of stuff coming in. Shouldn't underestimate ancient champions. Haste and iron shot together is no joke. Yeah, good. Uh, Trug appreciated it. Killed a nerd. Stole his lunch money. Trug likes what he sees. Throwing a wedgie for good measure. And we're already back to one pip of piety. <laughs> one more and we'll have Trug's hand. I'm gonna back up. Alright, so a lot of, yeah, that's Khufu. A lot of the much more dangerous enemies, like here, Greater Mummies, Khufu, um, Cursed Skulls, etc., that are absolutely terrifying and are why I generally don't do Crypt on a 3 room game, are not so bad for a mummy. I want to go to our evening star of anti-magic though and then when they step around the corner if they ever do okay we got weak what is that weak lowers our attacks I believe status nope T weak weak <laughs> I like how bats come up under weak your physical attacks do less damage Okay, that's not so fun. You feel yourself slow down. Alright, so you see here, mummies are still scary, just not as bad. So we're now weak and slow against Khufu. Uh, and while Khufu can't torment us, he can still smite, he can still um, drop millions of summons on our head. So I think it makes sense to teleport away at this point. We've got 19. We'll just get rid of the slow and the weak and we'll fight him again. And we are back to our true power. 
Max power, max power. Just keeping our anti-magic weapon out. All right, here's Khufu. So, are there any hallways anywhere? All the way at the top. I'd like to be able to get him in a spot where I can't miss him with Lamp of Fire. Like this. Nice. And in fact, why don't we throw nets at him? So he can be netted and burn out to the fire. Feels good, man. Alright, got him. Much less scary for a mummy. If this was any other regular three room character and I saw Khufu, I'd probably just bail. <laughs> very, very dangerous. Um, oh, right. It just occurred to me. See how our int dropped to three? We actually could have been brainless there. So our int dropped because we got. Um, Mummy Death Cursed. Um, yeah, we actually could have lost all of our five in. I probably should have thought about that when we were killing greater mummies. Oh, well, I didn't, and we didn't get punished. <laughs> yeah, yeah, especially when we killed that first mummy and Khufu was still around. If we got minus five in, we might have died. Oh, well, we didn't. Unpunished. Here's a Revenant. We're remembering, of course, that Revenants have um, Dispel and Dead. So, how do we kill this guy? I think we just fight him. Yep, okay. Well, we got hit by one. That one wasn't too painful. Uh, let's go our Anti-Magic Evening Star again. If we get hit by a really damaging Dispel and Dead, I would blink down. A revenant's fast? I don't actually know. Speed 10. Okay, so you can walk away from them. Um, they won't chase you down with great speed. Okay. I was impatient there. Alright, the vampire knight, it's a 0% chance to paralyze us. I like those odds. <laughs> as long as we didn't get our MR halved by the Phantasmal Warrior, we were okay. Good. Evocations to 9. I wonder if we'll keep going. I think we will. Uh, speaking of evocations, here's some more paralysis wand. We have 35 charges. All right, we're going all in. This is a 27 evocations mummy build. Let's go. <laughs> um, let's update that. Skill target from 10 to at least 15. We're, we're gonna go crazy. We're gonna train the most evocations I've ever trained in my life right now. Reach 24. Um, you know what? I'm pretty tempted just to go more in. Um, just so we're not quite so low. We're probably always going to keep this int minus three ring because of the RF plus plus on it. Um, having five int is kind of dangerous. Um, if you think about it, our third ring options are vaults five, which I kind of don't want to do because we'll have to fight past menace. Um, and then the other two have places where we can get our stats drained. Uh, by mutations. If we go to Abyss, you have um, Int Drainers, like Nekasex, and then you have Wretched Stars. And then in Slime Pits, you have uh, Shining Eyes, who can mutate you a lot as well. So having 5 Int is actually really quite dangerous. Uh, a Lich again. It's only a 1% chance to Hexos. If that happened, I'd be really sad. Let's throw a net and then hit the, hit with the anti-magic. Trog appreciates this. Uh, so we're back up to three pips of piety. We've got Trog's hand. Very nice. We still haven't seen a large shield. Yep. 
I know there's definitely one in the game because Menace always has one. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a dangerous one to claim. We have to have all needles or none. Alright. So we're just going to continually pick up poison needles, it looks like. Alright. Uh, we have eight scrolls of magic mapping, which is plenty. We only need five for a five Zot floors. So I'm going to read one now. It looks like the skull. It is. I really, really like this floor. I say it every time, but it's still true. Uh, whoever made this, it's fantastic. So we're going to do all around the outside bits before we head in. Here's Boris. Um, I wish we could do a, a bro in arms. Yeah, so he's got Iron Shot, Bolt of Cold, Orb of Destruction. These things are all really, really nasty. Um, if you have Scrolls of Silence, you make him relatively trivial. I mean, his attacks are nothing. 25 damage and another 15. Whatever. Uh, it's his iron shots, etc., that you really need to care about. Um, how about we make a box of beasts, and then we're gonna start throwing nets at him. So, well, we're missing. Like most ancient liches, uh, Boris is susceptible to the old net trick, and then we're gonna anti magic him and net him again. I like how we're missing and we keep hitting the skulls behind. And one more. I'm actually going to use Dot because if I miss him, I'd rather not waste it on the flying skull actually. Because once the flying skull breaks out of it, we lost a net. Whereas if I miss it, if I miss him and it's on his tile, we can just pick up the net again. Anyway, yeah, so we lost a few throwing nets there. But that's okay because we killed Boris. Uh, very dangerous monster. And um, he has the ability to show up again, so might not be the last time. I'm remembering back to the Centaur Air Elementalist run where we had this layout for our crypt. And we met Menas here. <laughs> that was a fun time. Uh, fortunately, we know Menas. Well, it's fortunate and unfortunate because it means that he's somewhere else. But we know that Menas won't turn up here because he's guarding vaults four. There's usually uh, a profane servitor or two at the end of this one. And usually a bunch of vampire knights as well. Um, and often, so there's our crypt is right at the top. That you often get a mummy there. So we need to be. Maybe I should look up how much the max stat drain is off a death curse. Because we might need to take our our minus int ring off. It'll be a random necromancy. No, it doesn't tell you. Your occult plant has a weird expression for a moment. Okay, so there's going to be a bunch of meme entries, it looks like. Okay, it's just talking about mummies. Alright. Maybe it's the necromancy miscast. Uh, miscast, I mean. Uh, one to seven stat loss. Okay, so it turns out we could go brainless from a death curse still. Right, so we could lose seven in. Alright, so I need to remember that. If we do see a greater mummy, or even a mummy priest, we need to take our int ring off. Minus int ring. Let's back up. Getting a bit too hasty here. Trog's granting us ammunition, so we do have access to Brothers in Arms again. 
it's only a 43% chance to work because um, how successful you are is dependent on your piety. But it'll get there. Who did we just see there? Oh, just Vampire Knights. Okay, I got a force more. I was thinking we saw Jory or something. Um, this looks like a good Lamp of Fire place. Or maybe even... If we had more charges on Wand of Clouds, I'd throw one out here. Uh, that's probably okay. Oh, there's something invis in front of us. All oh, right, it's just one. Of, it would just be one of the vampire knights. Um, right, there's one behind us. Uh, I don't like this. We're sort of starting to die. Um, I'm gonna put on a trog's hand. I just want to make sure that this vampire is definitely not going to paralyze us. And how about we make a box of beasts? Uh, these guys see invis. So, they're useful against invis enemies. Alright, so we got that vampire. I'm going to step back a tile. I'm hitting control just to swing up. Alright, good. Can't believe... Some of you must be so proud of me right now. Remembering to use my evocables this much? It's crazy. Got an artifact ring here. Uh, blink, flight, dex plus three, C invis. Um, we're carrying around a plane ring of flight, so this is simply better. It also gives us a vocable blink, which is really nice because um, there are all sorts of situations where I might want to randomly blink. And I mean, when you're not allowed to cast spells, you can't do that. Here's Sajobu. Um, she's really scary, um, but especially so if you don't have RLX. So we're going to put that on. Uh, so we got to, it's a two step process here. We've got to remove our ring that's in the macabre finger necklace, and then we can switch necklaces or amulets rather. All right, so we've got our RLX again. In order to do that, we lost five slay, but that's okay. Um, and then, how are we going to kill Sajobu? Maybe more box of base. Okay, our box fell apart. That's no good. Um, I'm going to file a flood to her as well. She's seriously no joke. It's worth just blowing everything. Uh, no pun intended because she's going to blow everything as well. Let's... I'm going to Trog's hand as well. I'm a bit scared. Look, she's blowing us around. As if to say, told you so. Let's try a sack of spiders. <laughs> we're, just, we're just going nuts right now. I could read one of our six scrolls of summonings, but it's probably okay. Oh, you know what I should do? We've got four scrolls of torment. How about we just torment them? Um, okay, I just realized that actually that could have pissed off our, <laughs> um, our allies, but whoops, that's all right. Um, and what if... We try clouds. Probably don't want to do clouds against the Jobu. I think she can get rid of them. No. Wait, what's... No, wind blast is the thing that knocks you back. No, she can't do that. Alright. I still want to get... Well, I was going to walk back to the choke point, but the Jobu just blew us back. So, I'm going to chuck out some Disintegration Blast. Uh, she has Deflect Missiles. So there's no point trying to hit her with our crossbow or any of our ranged weaponry. Um, whereas Ice Blast will never miss. So that's good. She goes down. She's going to keep shooting them out. Okay, good. And we can just fight this Invis stuff. Are we actually just losing to this guy? <laughs> okay, 
<laughs> we got there. Um, I could have just put our scene vis ring on, but I don't know. I was being stubborn. Okay, so back to the macabre finger necklace. Alright, nice. And I'm really serious, don't ever ever underestimate Sajobu. Uh, she can also be, she's really synergis synergistic, so she makes air elementals, which then do their tornado thing, which make you fly, and then she gets 150% damage airstrikes on you. It's really nasty. And that's ignoring the fact that she often comes with a whole bunch of Tengu Reavers. Who are also in their own right dangerous. Let's go to anti magic against the profane, I think. Actually, there's no point, it doesn't have any spells. We'll just go evening star of flaming. Um, actually, they're evasive and not really, they don't have much AC. Eh, whatever. I'm not too afraid of the profane servitor. Their thing that makes them tanky is that they they vamp you, but we're, we're mummy, so we can't be vamped. This is really annoying. We're actually just losing to this. Let's put our seat invis ring on. I guess instead of protection from magic right now. So we can just kill this freezing wraith. It's being really annoying. Um, we're back to five pips of piety. Um, there's some argument to be made for not even using our protection from magic ring anymore. I also noticed that we've got three pips of MR even without the magic ring on now. And we can get Trog's hand. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to do that. Let's go plus five protection instead of C invis. So our defenses are pretty nuts right now. 43 AC, 15 evasion, 17 shield. I still wish we had a large shield though. That'd be even better. Not to be. All right, let's shoot the revenant. Remembering of course that they can have uh, dispel and dead. Bone dragons on the other hand, unlike the profane servitors, do have a lot of AC. So I do want to have an evening star to punch through that. And by punch through it, I mean mace through it. You know what I meant. Three percent paralyzed chance seems unlikely. Here's Jory. Okay, let's heal up first. So you need to respect Jory. Again, anything with Crystal Spear, you always need to respect. Let's Lampify him. I'm gonna step to this tile so that he can't avoid the fire. If I stayed there, he could have stepped where we are now. Whereas this is gonna hold him. I'm gonna throwing net. I should also use anti-magic. Good. No greater mummies, fortunately. Um, I think we can probably stop picking up rune staves. Backslash minus. It could only be a staff of fire or power. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to turn off unknown magical staves. We don't really need either of those now. We found plenty of RF. Oh, right, the lich went... In this? No, there's another freezing wraith there. 10% uh, chance to petrify us, that's too much. So we're gonna go to Trog's hand. Um, how are we gonna fight this lich now that we're slowed? Let's go sack of spiders again. Oh yeah, look at this. Alright, <laughs> go, go spiders. Need, we need you all to kill the Lich. The Lich has Corrosive Bolt and Crystal Spear. Uh, let's throwing net it. Alright, and now go my spiders. They actually did it. You devastate the Lich. You freeze the Lich. The Redback bites the Lich and kills it. 
MVP spiders. Evocables. Who knew? <laughs> Alright, a bunch more gold. Oh, we see here the Demon Blade Blood Bane? That's hard to say. Demon Blade Blood Bane. Has random rage on it. I think that's the one. I can't pick it up to look at it. Let's drop something. Let's drop the plus three evening star of freezing. We don't need that. Alright, I think this is the one that always vamps. Does not say. No, okay, it's not the one. I think I'm thinking of Leech. Anyway, we're not longsword users, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and that's it for Crypt. So we, we mostly got our piety back. So I think even though that was a greed play that could have been punished, it worked out pretty well. So that's going to be it for now. If you join me in the next one, we'll be back into depths, and then we'll be getting a third room. See you later.